Hi, and welcome to the Bible Tribe with Seeing Deep Ministries, where we see deep in a shallow world and overcome the battles of the mind with the Word of God. It is when we come through the fire that we recognize the goodness of God. Gratitude springs from those who have suffered and survived. We're reading today from Psalms 65 through 67, and the verse of the day is Psalm 66, verse 12b. We went through fire and through water, yet you brought us out into a place of abundance. In context, well, this is one of my favorite verses from the Psalms in the hardest moments of my life. This Psalm is a reminder that nothing we go through is wasted and God's purposes are always for our good. No one wants to volunteer for hard times, right? Yet without the hard times, we would likely take the times of peace for granted. Abundance is a place of gratitude that perhaps we would not recognize abundance if we had not first gone without. The psalmist is thanking God for his deliverance and answers to prayer, but there is perhaps irony in this verse. When we take this verse into a larger context, we see that God permitted the hard times. This is hard for us to understand because we do not see hard times as a blessing in any way, shape, or form, right? Let's start in verse 10. For you have put us to the test, God. You have refined us as silver is refined. You brought us into the net. You laid an oppressive burden upon us. You made men ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, yet you brought us out into a place of abundance. I chose the word abundance, which is the Hebrew word revaya. It is the idea of saturation. When we think of a cloth being immersed in water, there is no part of the towel that is not full, completely satisfied. Even the hard places and the messes of this life are not without purpose. Thought of the day, God uses our messes to bless us. An application, trust God in the hard places. He is in the business of making them smooth. Go with God in his precious word, friends. Tune in tomorrow as we head back into the book of Proverbs.